Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today it's another beautiful afternoon here on the farm. Just got out of class and coming on the farm here to do some more work out here. So I'm standing out here in the outside garden and uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, tear everything out. And we're going to go ahead and plant uh, 10,000 strawberry plants here in the next couple of weeks. September 15th is a day to plant. So until then we got to get the soil ready, tear out this uh, outside garden here, move this pile of... Uh, you know tree trunks and all this other good stuff that's the next couple of day, uh, weeks here we got to get done here on the farm so today's video i'm just going to start cleaning out the outside garden here tear out the plastic and all, do all that good stuff so if you guys want to stick around to the end of the video if you guys haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button like this video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below throughout the video don't forget to hit that little notification bell because it comes to you guys three days a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays or at least i'm trying to whenever i'm not in class so uh you guys stay tuned for today's video we're just getting some serious stuff done. I'm gonna, uh, I started picking up this drip tape here and uh, I got this fancy ties here. I'm gonna tie up the thing before I roll the rest of the thing up because it keeps undoing here. So I'm gonna do this right here real nice. Just like that. I got this thing all rolled up now and uh, got some extra valves that fell out here. Put those in the trailer there. I'm gonna tie this up nicely now. I'm just using this batten tape from from the high tunnel. Just some stretchy tape. Works pretty good. I got this fancy loppers. Cut them up like that. And then you're rolling this up. There we go, ready for next year. So as you guys can see here, there's still a lot of good fruit on these uh, pepper plants and all the tomato plants. So what I'm thinking about doing, we're not going to be able to sell this many. So I'm just going to come through and harvest everything and throw it in the trailer. And then take it to the warehouse and then we'll uh, uh, probably donate it. We'll sell it, do something with it because, you know, I called some of the food pantries in our area. And they're short handed so they, come out, they can't come out here and pick it. So I mean, if it's just too much work, I'm just going to get the mower chop everything down and uh, pick up the plastic and start disking everything and we have a, some guy coming he said tomorrow night give him a call to move this uh brush pile here but you know we got the, some trees pushed down here so over, or everything over here from the gate there is 340 foot all the way to the that big tree down there which you guys see there so it's gonna be we got a few rows that are 340 foot and then coming down you know the, the driveway starts um coming in so this is about three quarter acre here so we ordered 10,000 strawberry plants and to plant an acre of strawberries is 17,000. So we're right about the, you know, right over, just right over an acre, half acre of strawberries. So, but for now, that's, I just, I get excited when I come, when it comes to talking about strawberries because it's our first time growing it and I never grown strawberries. So I'm just really excited. But for now, got to clean all this stuff up, get it nice and going, pull the plastic up, the drip tape, and get it done. A quick change of plans. I was out there working in the field. Now I'm in the warehouse, actually just uh, cleaning stuff uh, a little bit up and Tomorrow our plan is to press apple cider, first apple cider of the season, but whenever we made the apple cider vinegar, it's still sitting in that tank. So uh, right doing my dad, yesterday they went out and uh, found these two tanks on Craigslist and they, they were, looked like old milk tanks, but you know, they're all dirty and it hasn't, haven't been used in a lot of time. So what we're gonna do is we and Adrian have to wash those and get them ready. And the unit on them still works, but we're just gonna use them as a holding tank non-refrigerated so we're going to pump all the vinegar out of the tank in the cider room inside these two tanks and get the cider room ready to start present cider tomorrow so we got to clean those up but for now i got to take all this trash and pile the pile of trash cardboard and stuff out to the burn pile so i'm gonna got to carry it in this bin here i put a ratchet strap on this bin so when i go dump it the bin stays in place but the, all the i mean i'm gonna try to keep the bin from falling out and all the trash to go in so this is about a week you know probably a week's worth of trash here just cardboard and junk but you know it gets pretty thing um it gets pretty crowded up in here and those tanks are going to go over there next to the washer down there and we got to move some of those boxes around move these pallets around and val bought some other this is a refrigerator i don't know why he keeps buying stuff but yeah got to clean the trash out now and uh we'll get it done Ugh. trash 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 Pretty full now. I'm just gonna jump on here. 
So I smash it up some more. Guess that works. Maybe. Grab some more junk. Oh, this piece of junk pallet snapped. Put it on top of here. Perfect. Come back, get another load, and just. Time to take to the trash. So this is all the trash. This is how it's supposed to look. Nice and clean. So we're gonna move these coolers back there. I gotta still take this to the dump. And as you guys saw, as you guys saw there, it's very nice whenever you dump it. I just get out and uh, I carry a lot more than putting it in the bucket. So I'm gonna get to it. And I deal with the crate's pretty smart. I don't know if you guys are thinking, but getting it done. Last load of trash. ahead and undo this ratchet strap put it back in the truck and then put the bin away and carry those tanks out to this so we can wash them just like this Here, no, 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 no. Okay, you jack it up. Put the legs between there. Why? Right. It's heavy and super heavy on this side. Are you sure? I'll lift the dump with my hands, bro. Okay, you're the boss. The condenser's heavy? Dude, the condenser's like most of the weight on the dump thing. Here, you jack it up. I'll hold this, the weight here. Here, jack it. I'll keep from tumbling over. Okay, back it up. It's good, 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 good. Just pull it in the center. I'll get the skiss here. Okay, it's good. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh 
Hold it from tipping over. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up and put this wood under here so we can, so we can drain. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up. Higher, keep going. We've got a long ways, long ways. Keep going. Okay, good. Okay, go down. Yep, okay, drop it. Perfect. Wash this up nicely. Open this valve. Perfect, perfect. Alrighty, so this valve is, I think, it's holding too much, uh, mess back from coming out so i'm gonna go ahead and do it and uh got this fancy pipe wrench here i'm gonna try to ah uh, double thread I had no idea. Anyways, try to get it. Big problem, big problem. So we have Adrian now to come out here. He's gonna pressure wash it while me and Isaac are going inside the warehouse and uh, find a place for these guys. And it uh, doesn't seem too dirty, but we're probably never gonna turn on this motor here. Just let it sit for the vinegar. And then if we ever fix these condensers out here, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, fix them. But for now, we're gonna put this uh, vinegar in them. So it's just he's gonna wash them up nicely, get them all nice and clean. We got the other one right there, so we're gonna fix them up. We're gonna turn this on. Right, Adrian? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move this one other one outside so Adrian can wash it. I think this is a smaller one. I don't know how many gallons. Look here, 200 gallon tank. Move it outside. Then we're gonna actually put them on there. But me and Isaac are gonna do that once uh, we get moving this one outside. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the pile jack here and move it underneath or outside. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm on the other side of the washer here and the side room's right there but over the summer we just kind of stacked up all this box and stuff so we're gonna do where the, those tanks are gonna come right here right where I'm standing right now so we got to move all, all this stuff out of the way I'm gonna shift that whole entire rack or that bench there this way take this one out of here move this uh we keep our hunting here usually shift all this over and make enough room for the both tanks to go over there so we'll see what we can do how much stuff we get done here? Hopefully before I Adrian gets done washing those. Isaac is gonna finish sweeping here, but they're gonna come right here. We're gonna put it very close. The big one's probably gonna go first and put it right here, and then the other small one right next to it. Then we'll put these boxes back, but yep, just like that, just rearrange it, sweep it up, get it ready, move the pallet jacks out of the way, and we're making the final touches on rinsing them off. We're gonna get some chlorine, sanitize them, then whenever we put them inside the warehouse, they're gonna be good to go and just put them in there and start pumping the vinegar that is inside the big tank in the cider room into these and hopefully we'll have enough space here but I think that first one will be plenty for the for the vinegar but just rinsing them off getting it done they're all washed rinsed and sanitized and then we got Isaac on the skister now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick them up here and put them back in the warehouse let's see if we could do it come forward 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 keep on let's go let's go pick it up uh, forward that way. Forward. Oh, just pick it up. Tilt it. Tilt it. There you go. All the way. There you go. Perfect. What was that? Hey, it's not there. Where? Okay. Yeah, that's to the... Oh, yeah, to the valve. Okay, back it up. Perfect. I think something else is down here, too. Yep. Put them in the warehouse. Good right there. Oh, come forward, come forward. More, 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 more. Okay, good. Close down. It's good, it's good. Perfect. Back it up. Okay, go park it. We're good. This thing is the condenser here, so I'm just gonna pick it up from the back here. Power jack can kind of push it. Just like that. Keep it from tipping over. And it can't be too difficult moving the tank.
so this is how the tanks are now they're just going to sit here for a while we're going to have to move some of the stuff out of the way uh get the pump and everything out of the side of the room and pump into this big tank here this should be plenty here but we'll see they're wa nicely washed rinsed and sanitized so yep yep pump it in here we'll be good to go this is the tank inside the side of the room here we got the pump here we got the hoses and uh, we're just gonna put this trough here so the cider could fall the vinegar is gonna fall in here we're gonna go ahead and pump it out through here but it smells like no what uh, no other in here because it's terrible probably got to open this window or something because I didn't think about this the pumps are literally right there so from there to there probably be done in 30 seconds once we start pumping it but we'll see if we have long enough hose Alrighty, so I just went ahead and put some water in. This is the hose that connected. I know it's not supposed to be tucked in the ground, but it's already vinegar. So, agents will go ahead and turn the pump. And, uh, no leaks, so we're good. Kind of flush the water through there. Make sure it's nice. Turn the floor. Yep, it's good to go. So, the agents will go ahead and mix the vinegar in there because all the mother settled. Oh, that smells horrific. Oh. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it. Oh. <coughs> so the uh, hose is long enough. So we're going to go ahead and uh, come in through your eye dicks and hold that side right there. We put it through the window. It's long enough here. And it doesn't work, bro. I already tried it. Just put it, just put it on the ground. Yeah, just put it on. Here, you got to just flip it around. Oh, forget it, dude. Just leave. Put it on the ground, dude. It doesn't matter. It's just too high. It won't fit. Dude, the pump... The water has to be over there. Just forget it. Put it on the ground. Did you mix up all good in there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Turn it on. Go to the switch. Yeah. We'll go ahead and put this in here. Stuff is disgusting. How fast is that pump do it? I don't know, we'll see. Let it fill up a little bit. Look at that. Here, where's that stick at? Yeah, mix it good. Uh, here, 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 don't put any, let, let it, let it, let, don't let it, oh, it's clogged up now. It is? Yeah. I don't want to mess up our pump, dude. Here, you should do mix it good enough. Oh, that was the one on top. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'll take that out. There you go. Did the pump take that stuff? Here, bring the filter. Grab something. No, bring the filter. So we put the sifter on here. And kind of to sift it. A little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Disgusting clogging stuff. Give me, give me player gloves. I'm gonna go hands down in this one. I don't know what that gooey stuff is. I never made vinegar before. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Leaking? Yeah, slowly. I see it. Cool stop. I see it. That's stuck on there, dude. That's fine. Yep, it's we're going strong, on. Man. Yeah, it stinks bad. It's happening whenever you make vinegar. Of the paint? Yeah. Okay, so it's not even empty yet. Go ahead. 
Thanks for that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So all of the cider is transferred or the vinegar. Now it's time to clean up. This is real disgusting. It stinks in here real bad. The whole entire store smells like vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. And get ours looking nice and fancy. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, rinse this off. And let the warm water squeeze through there. And uh, just kind of press it together and just we'll let water flow. This is still there, the water's flowing nicely. Kind of pull this apart and let it drain there. And tomorrow we're going to start pressing cider, so we're just kind of getting everything ready for tomorrow. And uh, oh, great, 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 great. That's good there for now. I'm gonna start washing this tank here. We usually have a nozzle thingy, but I lost it or somewhere. Gonna... Alrighty, so I'm not gonna super rinse. I'm just gonna kind of rinse everything tonight, and then tomorrow before we make cider, I'm gonna sanitize everything and uh, make make sure it's ready to go. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of rinse everything, make sure it doesn't smell overnight. No bacteria, disease is gonna grow. And tomorrow we're gonna sanitize everything with some chlorine. And some other good stuff and uh, get it going good. Kind of wash the floor. It's not going to really get everything nice like we usually do, but get the majority of stuff. Alrighty, all that's going to be pretty much it for today. We got the cider room ready for tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to be pressing the first apple cider of the season for here on our farm. We got a blend of Jonathan's and Gala's. Um, Gonna go in the cider to sweeten the sour. Probably gonna do a, a good mixture of both of those. So, you know, early on uh, I started outside in the outside garden, but it was more of a prep day for the uh, for the apple cider and get it going. Then on um, tomorrow we're pressing Friday we're gonna bottle it. So you guys stay tuned for uh, Saturday's video because it's gonna be be a good one for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys a step by step process of how how we press the cider here on our farm. So. I want to say uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I want to say uh, if you guys haven't hit that notification bell button, what are you guys doing? Go ahead and hit it. Be notified whenever I do post a video. And um, you guys are going to go ahead and watch all my videos. So go ahead and smash that like button because if you guys like, you know, like all my videos, then it, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like my content and you guys are supporting me. Uh, a 22 year old farmer out of Southwest Missouri and it promotes my channel to other farmers or to pe other people in this industry so I get more subscribers and eventually I feel I uh, I build myself a, 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 a fan base here on YouTube so I want to say I want to say thanks for to everybody who supported me till this point and uh, it's been it's been it's been a good one you know going along and hopefully as time progresses my video quality goes up and better videos better stuff and it's just showing my day-to-day -day life here on the farm so I want to say thanks for watching you guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.